Hello everybody, this is Kikosaurus and today I'm going to talk to you about the miscellaneous structures in the steampunk mod. Um, basically I define miscellaneous as um, all the structures except the building structures, the, uh, the crafting and the refining stru structures. Um, the crafting and the refining structures uh, can be found in um, my other tutorials and I just wanted to not make a tutorial of one hour uh, on every structure. So let's start with uh, this structure. This is the dino power generator. Basically, it's a generator and you have to put a trike on it and then he's going to, uh, you have to latch it and then the trike is going to step forward and start uh, treadmilling on this. Uh, I don't have a trike at the moment, but uh, if, I, if I had one, I would do it. Uh, I'll, I'm going to get one soon and then um, I'll test it out, but it, it gives power, basically. Alright, so afterwards we have the, the copper coal stove, and this is uh, what you would expect. Uh, you put some coal in it, and then you turn it on, and it makes some beautiful red flames, and yeah, it, it does look quite nice um, against the wall like that. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's quite cool, but yeah, it, it does what you would expect um, it does, so... It cooks meat. All right, here you have the steam drill engine. Basically, um, you can go in the inventory and then um, when you put gunpowder in it and a drill bit, then it can make you, um, yeah, so it gets you stone and something else depending on the drill bit. So I'm, I'm going to show you how it works. So if I take the uh, drill bit here, Okay, it, it depends. You have to um, place it perfectly, otherwise it doesn't work. It has to be uh, perfectly stable like this. I think this should work. Yeah, so now it snaps. It really depends um, how, how flat the ground is. And you, you have to put it on the ground and not on foundations. So here it, uh, you have the drill bit and now it's unpowered. I put a diamond drill, drill bit on it. Um, the diamond drill bit will give you crystal, um, while the other one will give you metal and stone. Okay, so now we have to put gunpowder in it. Ta-da! It starts working. Uh, as you can see, it makes a lot of steam. If you have them very close to each other, it's going to be quite, uh, quite a pain to see. Um, we can happens in there and then as you can see it already has 100 stone in it and 32 crystals and it's going to be faster and faster so it's pretty cool so it can be used for the, the big self-sustaining a nearly self-sufficient cycle actually uh, where you actually drill everything you need out of um, out of the ground and then you have basically as much crystal and metal as you want as long as you keep the engines um, powered basically so that's the the coolest thing i think about the steampunk mod, uh, steampunk mod or at least most useful afterwards we have the heat meat spoiler uh, spoiler uh, it also does what it says um, you put cooked meat in it it's going to spoil into rotten meat and the rotten meat is going to spoil into spoiled meat as you will see in two seconds yeah so one cooked meat gives apparently two spoiled meats and then um, it, it goes like this. It's, it's really straightforward how it works. Right. Afterwards we have the steam egg incubator and you put, you put your eggs in this. Okay. I'm going to test it now like this. Uh, so fertilized eggs, afterwards uh, it's powered by steam. So the steam is made here, uh, you can see it in my previous tutorial, so we'll take some steam, let's say 1000 steam, and we'll put it in, it, uh, in this, so there we go, it's powered by steam, and then incubate. and there we go, as you can see, uh, you're getting hot, and let's see, is it incubating? Yes, egg incubation, 95 uh, out of 100. 
and we'll see later on um, how far it goes. But it's quite fast. Um, our incubation rate is not that high, so it does it does go quite fast. Um, all right. So afterwards, we have the copper industrial smoker. You put coal in it, and then um, basically you put cooked meat in it, and it makes. And I think uh, oil as well, and then it uh, makes you jerky, so it's basically a jerky machine. Um, afterwards we have the hydro planter, and basically you will never need um, another crop plot ever again. So you put uh, fertilizer and fiber, and then it makes rich dirt, and then if you put seeds and water, um, you will have a lot of plants growing very fast actually. And I don't have rich dirt at the moment. Possibly, is it is it the same as the rich soil in here? I'm not sure. Uh, here we have nine rich soil, and then yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do it. Um, but basically, yeah, you you just you just put your stuff in here, and it just grows you plants over time. I can show you uh, some in the greenhouse over there afterwards. Uh, here we have the ice box. And basically you put water in it and it makes you blocks of ice, which is um, useless on its own, but you can make ice slush. And it takes a while, but it doesn't matter. And um, for 800 seconds you have, well, something like the Freya curry, but then um, that cools you off, basically. So it's, it's quite cool and you can put everything in this, except um, the darts. Uh, how is it called? The, the Trang darts, the special Trang darts. Um, yeah, from. Um, yeah, let's see. The, these guys. The. Shocking Trang darts. So these ones can't go in there. I, I thought it would be. It might be useful information for you. But everything else um, gets into this and it's uh, even better than a normal fridge. Afterwards we have the steam pot. This is this is just the same as a normal pot. You put refined oil in it. Um, you can learn how to make the refined oil uh, in another one of the tutorials. And then uh, you light the fire and poof. And you can also make boiled dinosaur eggs, which is just with dinosaur eggs. And then you can make um, uni kibble. Basically, it works as uh, the, the, the ultimate kibble. So. You put it in any dino's inventory and it works and it will tame it perfectly so that's it's quite cool all right uh, we're going to go check the in incubation now oh it's still not fi uh, not finished so uh, it does take a lot of steam i i don't know if you saw it uh, first i'm going to show you the um the Crop as you can see here you put fertilizer in it and then uh, if you have rich soil normally oh and fiber as well all right and here we go as you could see uh, it's used up four rich soils and we made 15 rock carrots 15 saver roots 15 long grass and 15 citronel because uh, we have all of these seeds in there and it spoils only in four hours so that's quite cool Get so that is um, the hydro crop plot and then there are two other things or three other things that I need to show you uh, first of all the steam outhouse this is this and basically it's a toilet so you can sit on it and Oh yeah, you have to poop, and if you poop, you feel uh, refreshed and stuff. And uh, I think it gives you a slight experience. I'm not sure. So I'm. Um, um, let's let's just try it out. Let's try to poop on it. Right, so we're sitting on it, and then we press defecate. And uh, we're not ready to defecate. Oh yeah, okay. We did it. We poop. And here we are, we have like a, a poop buff um, in the bottom right corner. And basically that is it. It's, it's just fancy, actually. 
Alright. Then we have the... Oh, it's, it's a little bit bad. Uh, then we have the uh, copper AC. Uh, it's just air conditioning to power it down. You don't need any source of uh, energy. You just power it down. And as you can see here in my stats, um, the insulation is quite high. So you can use that to uh, make your uh, babies as well. So to incubate your eggs as well. It does make a lot of noise. So I'm going to power it up. And finally, last but not least, there is the teleporter. Oh, and also the um, cryo chamber. Uh, so these two are very important. Um, so the cryo chamber, there's a slight bug with it uh, that this is personally owned, apparently. But if you sit in it, uh, now it's not going to do anything. But if you die and uh, you use it, you get all your stuff back. Um, I might, yeah, I might try it out. But it's you, you just have to to click on it, and then you get all your stuff uh, in your inventory back, and it's quite useful. And then last but not least, we have this guy, and this is the teleporter. So basically, basically. Um, you can teleport. Um, well, if you put another teleport uh, teleporter, you can teleport there. And yeah, let's do it. It closes. I can't move. Um, yeah, now I can move. And poof. Of course, it's um, it lags a little bit. It fucks everything a little up. But uh, eventually, we arrive at the other base. And here, this is the jungle dungeon base. Um, and yeah, that's how it works. And it is powered by a teleport a matrix. Let's see, can I... Um, can I check the inventory? Yeah. So you have to put a power matrix in there and it has uh, unlimited power. And apparently you can also put a trophy in there. Um, I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, I guess normal trophy. Uh, now we're going to go back now and check the uh, hatching of the, the, the dinos. Uh, teleport. And then you can teleport home. And as you can see here, uh, in the bottom right corner, you are tired for, uh, for a little while. And I think you get thirsty as well, or hungry. It, it just takes your st it drains your stamina. And now we can teleport back to the home base. Um, so normally this was the, um, the last, let's say, miscellaneous thing um, about the steampunk mod. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, it leaves you starving and you can't run. And I'm also stuck. Yeah, okay, I was stuck a little there. Uh, I'm just gonna eat something. Alright, uh, we can now go back to uh, there. I think it, they might be hatched already. Let's see. Alright, so it's nearly hatched and I'll come back when they hatch and we'll, we'll see if it incubates until 1 out of 100 or if it incubates all the way. But this is very interesting for I think wyvern eggs for example, um, depending on the mods you have because it provides a lot of heat and I guess it can incubate any egg. I'm not too sure about that. Um, and we'll be back when they hatch and then uh, we'll close off. Alright, it's uh, 1 out of 100. It's going to finish incubating. Uh, we'll see if it stays at 1 or if um, an Argent Davis really comes out of it. Oh, 0 apparently. Because um, I'm, I'm not too sure if you have to take it out or not. Zero, zero. Okay, so I guess you have to take them out. And then... Oh, a little bit stuck here. Alright. And then... We'll put them on the ground, I guess. Uh, it goes to 0 0.1, apparently. Going to put 
one back just to be sure that it goes to 0 0.1 and not um, not less but yeah i guess it's quite logical because otherwise the babies would be trapped in there or would uh, just glitch through everything all right so then we can, we can just finish that off but basically yeah it's cool because it incubates your eggs and at any temperature so that was um that was it i think i think we saw everything uh if you have questions about one of these things i can always uh, try to answer them and if this tutorial uh, was useful don't forget to like it and if you want to see more you can always subscribe i will tell you more about um, the uh, nearly self-sufficient cycle uh, powered by these drills um, in my workshop tutorial so i'll tell you how to make the cycle uh, so that you have a lot of resources very easily uh, this is my workshop so uh, yeah, if you want to see it, you can always subscribe and click on it. Alright, that was everything for today. Uh, thank you for watching and hope you have a really nice day.